Okay guys, welcome to today's lessons in statics. Today we're going to cover problem 87 from chapter 2. So problem 87 says, a frame ABC is supported in part by cable DBE that passes through a frictionless ring at B. Knowing that the tension in the cable is 385 newtons, determine the components of the force exerted by the cable at support D. Okay, so first I'm going to draw a free by diagram. Label it point D and draw my tension vector going towards a point B on the frictionless ring. Okay? They tell me the tension in the cable going from D to B is equal to 385 newtons. Okay? So, first thing we need to do is find the position vector from going from point D to point B. So, I'll label that with vector R going from D to B and now notice that will be have components in the X, Y, and Z directions. Notice we're going positive 480 millimeters along the x-axis. So that will be a positive 480 millimeters in the X direction or I hat so direction. Next we'll notice we're going down from point B to point B, sorry, point D to point B, going down 510 millimeters. So we're going to subtract 510 millimeters along the y axis or in the j hat direction. And finally, notice we have two dimensions given to us. We have a 600 millimeter dimension from B to C and a 280 millimeter dimension from D to the origin, the y axis. So on the z axis, that would be a difference of 320 millimeters. So we're going to go positive 320 millimeters on the z direction or as we label it the k hat direction. It's okay to stay in these units for this problem. In the future we'll have to convert to our base unit in meters. But it's fine to stay on millimeters from now. Next we need to find the magnitude or the distance from point D to point B. The distance is going to be equal to the square root of each component of the position vector squared. So we'll have the square root of 480 millimeters squared plus, in parentheses now, negative 510 millimeters squared and then plus our 320 millimeters for our final component squared. So let's go ahead and calculate that in the calculator. Notice if we go to our calculator, here we are. If we go to our calculator, we have 480 squared plus in parentheses now negative 510 squared plus 320 squared. So we get that number, we take the square root of that answer, and it gives us 770 millimeters for the distance from point D to point B. Okay, that's good. Now we need to find the tension vector. So we can find the tension vector by starting off with this formula. We know that the tension in the cable from D to B is equal to the magnitude of the tension they gave us is 385 newtons multiplied by the unit vector from D to B. The unit vector we know is simply going to be the position vector divided by the distance. So we have our position vector here for R from D to B. We have our distance, our magnitude of our position vector at 770 millimeters. Okay? So let's write this out a little bit further. We have tension in D to B multiplied by our R position vector from D to B divided by our distance, again, from D to B. Now I'm going to group the tension magnitude and the distance, the position magnitude together. So I'll write those as 385 newtons divided by 770 millimeters and then multiplied by our position vector 480 millimeters in the i hat 
minus 510 millimeters in the J hat direction and finally plus 320 millimeters in the K hat direction okay so now bring this into focus so now if we multiply this quotient if we multiply these numbers this number divided by this number we take that product and that quotient I should say and multiply by each one of these components we'll have our tension vector and we'll have each of the X Y and Z components for that tension vector so we have tension from point D to point B as being 385 divided by 770 which is one half. So we're simply going to mul multiply each one of these values by one half. So half of 480 is going to give us 240 newtons in the I hat direction minus half of 510 will give us 255 newtons in the j hat direction and half of 320 will give us positive 160 newtons in the k hat direction. Notice the millimeter units canceled out so it's okay to stay in millimeter units for this problem. In the future problems though we'll have to convert to our base unit of meters for distance. So the question asks us for the components of the, of the force exerted by the cable and support D. So this would be our tension from D, B, X component. This would be the negative side included would be our tension from D, B, Y component. And finally our tension from D, B at our Z component. Okay, so we have 240 for the X, negative 255 newtons for the Y, and positive 160 newtons for the Z component. All right, thank you and have a good day. All right, guys, thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.